Hi girls, um, so what we're going to do in this series of videos is we're going to be learning uh, how to kind of uh, do this, build up this steam roller, okay? We've kind of done uh, some basic stuff now where obviously you did the, um, the boat exercise and some of you moved on to some various other modeling exercises on your own. You're starting to get the hang of some of the tools, so now this one here is going to be really helpful, helpful for us going forward, okay? So just to break down how this, uh, these videos are going to work, it's not all going to happen in one, it's going to break it up into three or four videos and uh, we'll all put it together, it'll all come together at the end. So basically here, you can see here, this is actually a little steamroller, okay, a little toy, I suppose, a little children's toy, and it's made up of multiple components, multiple parts. Uh, we kind of have the main body of it, okay, which is this section in here, and that's going to be in the first video. The second video is going to be the additional parts, be the front wheel, the back wheel, the support sections here, the top of it. And then the third video is actually just going to be based on this little section here. It's a really fast video, but it's really important, okay? It's a new little skill that we're going to learn, okay? And then in the fourth video, we're going to take all these parts that we have made and we're going to bring them into an assembly and then join them all together to make the actual object, okay? So, uh, you've got this as a PDF file on your Google Classroom, okay? So I just printed out one version for me. Um, essentially, what this is, is uh, it kind of gives you like a written instructions of how to build it. Now, this is kind of from an older version of SolidWorks, so there's some things here. I'm going to follow it literally 90% of the plan, but there might be one or two things I might just kind of like skip over, okay? So it says here, uh, open a new part from the SolidWorks documents dialog box, select file, click save as. Now, they're getting you to save it straight away as part one steamroller body. What we're going to do is we're just going to make the part, okay? And at the very end, when we're done making the part, we'll save it, okay? We won't save it as that at the start. But before we even do that, what I need you to do on your desktop screen, okay, you should have a folder there somewhere that I got you to make. In that folder, double click, left click it to open it. Now you can see here, I've already one created. I'm actually going to open that up just to show you what we will be making by the end. So here it is. That's the plan to have made this with all those parts you can see all the parts here on the left hand side okay that's the plan now what i want us to do i have a folder created there steam roller okay and i had the mark parts made just wanted to make sure everything was i was happy with them i'm now going to get you because you obviously have maybe the boat in here object one object two whatever you've done in the space here in the right or in the white space i would like you to right click with your mouse then click on new and click on folder we're going to create a folder i'm just going to call it look steam uh steam roller and i'm going to say video because i can't rename it the same thing so these are my ones but you're just going to call it steam roller okay so i'm going to call it steam roller video okay and everything that i make i'm going to save it in here okay obviously i'm calling it video because obviously i'm recording this video beforehand okay so that folder now everything's going to be saved into there so look i can x that that's absolutely fine back in here to SolidWorks. so what we're going to do is we're going to go file new part click ok that's going to bring us into our modeling window now what we have to do is it says here create a sketch on the top plane using the dimensions shown confirm the sketch so on the top plane so we have to create a sketch on the top plane with a rectangle that is 75 long 175 high and our origin is right here okay then we're going to extrude that to 63 millimeters using boss extrude and use a blind end condition that's going to make this, okay? That's our first step. After that, when we've created the object, we're obviously going to cut out this little section here that is another rectangle on the top surface. So it says here in the sketch menu, select rectangle, we're going to draw it on the top surface, and then we're going to cut down 20 millimeters, okay? And that sketch is going to be, uh, it's 60, or sorry, it's 20 in from the edge and 60 long, okay? So that's kind of the first bit we're going to do. So, we're going to start off our sketch, and our sketch is going to be done on the, just to remind myself, top plane. So, select top plane here from the design tree, select the sketch icon. Now, corner rectangle, select it up here. Make sure it's the corner rectangle, not center. Okay, corner rectangle is selected. Oh, select it again. Start in the origin, click once, let go, drag out, click. Smart dimension. This is to be 75. And then click on this line, drag out, click again, 170. Okay. Next thing we want to do, that's our sketch. Okay. What I want to do now is go to my features, top left, select extrude boss base. You can see here, it's coming to a 3D view. 
I want to make that 63. You can see here I was dragging it up, but the easiest way to change it is blind condition means it can go any height. And I want to change that from 66 to 63. Enter. Accept that. Green arrow. Lovely. There we have. Press your um, sorry, press your space bar, click, uh, click isometric, it'll bring it in kind of nice and uh, centered on your screen. Okay. The other thing you can always do then is zoom to fit. Uh, where is it up here? Zoom to fit. If you click on that, yep. Yeah. So look, I had it, and then click on this. Zoom to fit fits into your screen. You can rotate it around then. Okay. Now, click on that surface. I want to sketch on that surface. That's like my sheet of paper now. Look, there's a surface. Press the space bar. Click on this button. Normal two. That kind of brings you up central. Corner rectangle. You want to select the. Make sure you're on the edge. You know you're on the edge when it highlights orange. Click, let go. Click to the opposite edge, click. Okay, smart dimension. I want a dimension between this edge and this line. Select the edge, select the line. I can get a dimension between the two. I want that to be 20. Now I want this line to be 60. That's all I need to do. The sketch is now fully defined, okay? So it's down here, it is fully defined, okay? What do I want to do with that? I want to cut down 20 millimeters. So features, extrude cut. I want this to go down blind 20. Accept. There we go. Okay, refer back to my drawing. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to cut off these two sections down here. So you can see here we've got a little dimension, 63 long, 15 in. And I want to create two of them. You can see here they're using a center line, so I assume then we're going to mirror it over, okay? So it says here on the top surface, draw the rectangle shown. Uh, sketch a center line on the top surface so the triangle or rectangle can be mirrored. Okay, 63 by 15, let's mirror it then. So, select this surface to draw on, sketch. First thing I'll do is I'll actually grab my center line. So where my line tool is, click on the arrow, click on center line. Now, very important, not to start, you want to start in the middle. Now you know you're in the middle. If I zoom in there, watch the little node that comes up, a little ball symbol there. See that little orange ball? That will highlight the middle to you, okay? The middle of a line. So if I click on that, then I want to bring it maybe up to about here. Perfect. The tool is still active. Press the escape key to deactivate. Okay, top left of your keyboard. Now what I want to do is a rectangle. I want to start it right in the corner. I want to dimension that. Smart dimension, grab this, 63, and then this line, 15. Fully defined. Now what I want to do is mirror. So your mirror entities is up here. Click on mirror entities. Entities to mirror, I'm just going to select the whole rectangle. You could select the lines individually, but if you select in the space, you should be fine. Mirror about, select the box here. Then select the mirror line to mirror it about. There you go. You can see it's after moving over, accept it with the green arrow. Done. Okay. Now, with those two, what I want to do is I want to cut them out, but I want the whole of our sorry them to be cut all the way down to the bottom. So features, extrude cut. Now it's very important. Instead of blinds, it's easy just to instead of actually look, you could grab the arrow and pull them down. But what I would usually say is instead of blind, true all. Accept that, green arrow. Done. Okay, now, a couple of little things here. What I'm actually going to do is, I should really rename my features. It's a good habit to get into. Okay, so I've done a few things here now. So what I'm actually going to do is, in my boss extrude, I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to give it a name. So if you click on it, and then press F2 at the top of your keyboard, it's a little shortcut. I'm going to rename that, and I'm going to call it, and I'll actually check what they call it on the sheet here, uh, rename the feature main body. So look, I'll just go main body, um, should have had a capital M there. Okay, and you can see here boss extrude, absolutely fine. Okay, on this one uh, section, and we're going to call this cab cut extrude. So, sorry, click on it. F2 at the very front, I'm going to go cab. Lovely, happy with that. And then the next bit, what did they say call it? Uh, rename feature as engine. Okay, so click on it. F2 engine lovely now if you want to get rid of the cut extrude cut extrude and boss extrude you can you can just have a main body cab engine absolutely fine because the actual tools that you use are identified by these symbols here okay absolutely fine 
Now, what we want to do is we want to now cut away, and I'll go back out to my, this section here. So you'll see here, we want to cut away this section, okay? Now I'm gonna show you something a little bit different here, and it's a new tool. Select the sketch from the command, or command manager, and then sketch or choose the front face shown, so to draw on this face. And we're going to draw in an arc of radius 45. Okay, and then we're going to extrude cut through all. Okay, so watch this. On this face, we'll select the face and select sketch. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, we're not going to go to the circle this time. We're going to go over here to the arc tools. And the one we want to select is this one here called the center point arc. So if I select that one, I'm going to come down here and hover over my origin, click, let go, drag out, and I'm going to click when anywhere at all on the line. Just make sure you're not on the center point of the line, okay? Because then it cannot be bed bigger or smaller. It will be stuck to that dimension. So I come out about here, click, and look. You can see here the line is going the wrong way. I'm not happy with that. So sometimes, there we go, you have to kind of play around with it. Eventually, I'll get it to a point where I want. You can see here there's different ways of doing it. When it comes up to this line, click, there's my arc. Now, I have to apply a dimension to that arc, smart dimension, that's meant to be 45. Now, usually in class so far, I've usually got you to do this, where you got a line from here, down to here, to here. There is a quick way if we're just removing a section out of the corner of it. So, now that I've got that arc done, what I can do is, if I go to Features, and go Extrude Cut, okay, just make sure, okay, I'm just going to say true all, absolutely fine, okay? But just make sure when you do it, if you notice this arrow in here, see the way it's pointed down? Now that's correct. If I have the arrow pointed up, watch this. You can also reverse it over here, okay? Flip side, flip side to cut. That's where it is, sorry. So look, see how I'm clicking flip side to cut? It's very important that I have the arrow facing down. If it's facing up and I accept that, watch what happens. I got rid of the wrong side. Control Z to undo. So... Features, extrude cut, make sure the arrow is facing down. As long as the arrow is facing down, click the green arrow, that will cut away. There we go. There's the next section done. Okay, now the next bit we want to do is, I'll come back into here. I want to cut out this little section in here. And you can see here, it's 25 high and 15 and 15. Okay, there's a gap of 15. I assume it's a gap of 15 on the other side. So we have to create that, another rectangle, and we're going to cut that through all, okay? So, on this section here, select this surface, select sketch. Once again, grab a rectangle, make sure you're not on the nodes. I'm going to start it anywhere, make it any shape. Then I'll smart dimension it. The height of it is 25, or length, depending on how it's orientated on your sheet. Now, the distance between this line and this line is 15. Click on the two lines, then the distance for this line is 15 as well. Once again, note fully defined. Okay, now what I want to do is with that, I want that to cut through. So features, extrude cut, and this time, once again, just true all. Absolutely fine. And there we go. Now I've done these cuts here as well, so I'm going to rename some of those as well. I'll go back and just check on that. Uh, the first one here was uh, cut extrude and it was renamed as front curve. So, front curve, F2, remember, so you click on it, then press F2, and this one was called, and I'll just look it up here, uh, cut for upright. So this one is called cut for upright. There we go. Okay, absolutely fine. If you want, as I said, you can get rid of the boss extrude, cuts extrude, okay? And you just call them main body cab, engine front curve, and cut for upright. Now, the next bit we want to do, okay, is we want to actually put some holes in this little section here, okay? So you'll see here, what we're going to do is, in this little section here, we're going to select that to sketch on, and we're going to do a sketch here with gaps of 12, 12, 12, and 12, okay? And they're going to give us, and you can see here, all these lines are like center lines. On those... Okay, what we're going to do is, we're going to do four circles, and each circle has a dimension of our diameter of nine millimeters, okay, and they're all going to be equal, and we're going to use this tool called an add relation, really helpful, okay, rather than dimensioning all of them nine, they'll all become nine if we only dimension one of them, okay, we're going to cut them down into the object 15 
millimeters okay and rename feature holds for doubt perfect okay so this is the surface we want to sketch on select surface select sketch okay rectangle tool first of all now here we go i'm going to draw a rectangle anywhere in the space here click click now first thing i'll do with that rectangle is it's still highlighted blue i'm going to come over here to my window and you see in the option section here for construction notice how it's now gone to a center line rectangle accept that now the next thing i want to do is i want to give it dimensions smart dimension select the distance between this line and this edge i want that to be 12. i want this line to this edge to be 12. likewise with this one to this one and finally this one to this one all 12 once again note fully defined when you're making your project next year every sketch needs to be fully defined not over defined just fully defined okay now you can see here on the edge of every or sorry on the corner of every part of the rectangle i've got a point okay a vertice so if i go to my sketch tools now i'm going to do four circles watch this i'm going to make them multiple sizes big one little one i'll go much bigger and then i'll go really tiny okay four circles press the escape school tool to deactivate now i want all of them first of all to be equal so if i select this one here and then holding down the control key or the shift key sorry sorry the shift key which is uh, the button above the control key on your keyboard it's the second one up from the bottom left you hold down control or sorry shift and click on every circle you can see they're all highlighted look over here selected entities arc one two three and four now the next thing i want to do is i want to make sure after they're all after highlighting come over to your window here you'll see these little relation tools usually automatically pop up if they don't pop up they can also be found up here okay add relation absolutely fine click on the arrow display add relations but the one i want to do is just click on this equal one and notice now when i click it how all of these will become the same size there we go every one of them is just gone small and look at these little green symbols here with the equal sign these are relations very important okay accept those now i'm going to do a dimension just on one of them smart dimension select the circumference of one circle i want it to be nine notice how they have all changed at the same time because they all have an equal relation so they all have to be the same as each other okay if i wanted one to be a different side i would actually have to select the relation the green symbol and delete that okay now with those there i want to cut them all down 15 millimeters so features extrude cut this time instead of true all i need a blind condition and i want to change my depth to 15. accept that and there we go okay so that's that little bit done the next bit we're going on to is we're going to cut a hole going through here okay so i'll just come out to my object here so you can see here at the side we have to create a hole that has a diameter of 9.5 and it's 20 up and 50 in okay it's 20 up and 50 in and that is going to then be cut hole for back axle is what it's called i also have to say holes for dowels i have to rename the features so rename features okay it's just a good habit because you're going to have to do it uh, when you're doing your own project when you're in sixth year holes for dowel holes for back axle so 9.5 50 in 20 up okay so I'll actually call these ones. I'll rename it while I have it. I'll say holes for dowel. Perfect. That annoys me now. If I don't have my capitals, that's just my OCD kicking in there, girls. Okay, so click on this surface. Click sketch. Start off by just drawing a circle anywhere. Now, first thing I'll do is I'll smart dimension. Okay, click on the center. Click on the edge. I want that to be 50. Click on the center. Click on this edge. I want the height to be 20. And then the last thing is I want the size of the circle. So select the circumference and I want that to be 9.5. Enter. There we go. I want that to cut through the whole object. So features, extrude cut. Instead of blind, through all. Accept. Gone through the whole object. See? Once again, this is hole for back axle, I think it is, yes. So click on it over here. So click on it, Whoa. 
click F2, pull for back axle. And once again, grab my capital. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So that's that done. Next thing I want to do, I have another job. So I've done that one. Okay. The last thing, and I think we're nearly there. Yeah, we're nearly there. I have a little hole to do on the top surface up here. You can see here it's in, if I zoom in, it's in 40 millimeters and it's in 10 and it has a diameter of 3. Okay. So in 10 from this edge, down 40 from there, and, in, and it has a diameter of 3. So it's on this surface here. So I select this surface, select sketch. I'm going to draw a circle first of all, anywhere at all. I'm going to actually give that diameter straight away, make it 3. Now, I'm just going to go back to my drawing here, in, in 10, down 40. Perfect. So select the center, select the edge. That's meant to be 40. And then select the center and select this edge. That's 10. Once again, notice how it went from blue to black, fully defined. And on that then, what we have to do is we have to extrude cut that down a distance of 10. And that's the hole for exhaust pipe. So it'll be renamed. So features, extrude cut, instead of through all, blind. And I want to make it 10. And you can see here, it just cuts down into it 10 millimeters. Okay, accept that. Hole is now cut into it, renamed feature, and that is titled Hole for Exhaust Pipe. I'll just say exhaust, it's fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's the actual object done now. Okay, the first part, and that is called the steam roller body. Okay, if I just go back and just be sure of that. Yeah, steam roller body. But before we do that, they want to add a little um, appearance to it. So if you right click anywhere on the feature, Click on this little symbol up here, click on the arrow, and we're going to do the whole body or the part. I'm going to say part 10. Okay, I'm going to come up here. Now, in your appearances, girls, if you click on the arrow, then you're going to come down to, now I've already done here, organic. So organic, then wood. The one they want you to select is pine. And then when we're in the pine, the one they actually want us to select is unfinished pine end grain. Select that. Click on the green arrow, done. Okay, there's the object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Save As. Now I'm going to navigate to the correct folder. So wherever, you, wherever your one is, I think the last day you said you had to select like this PC and then obviously desktop. But look, mine's on the desktop anyway. So I select desktop, fifth year SolidWorks SDK. And then the one I've created into, I'm going to call it Steamroller Video. This is the folder I'm using. Obviously yours is just going to be called Steamroller. Steamroller video, double click into that. Then I'm going to give it a name here, so file name, and this is called the Steam Roller Body. Okay, that's the first part. It's a SolidWorks part file, don't change anything here, and save. Done. When I have that done, close it. There we go. Okay, that is the first video, girls. Okay, that's the first part of it. Uh, if you get that done, head straight away then onto video number two. Okay.